Assalamu alaikum, what's up guys, this is Mustafa Tahir and I am back with another video. This video will cover how we can implement a date picker and time picker in our Flutter application. So this is a stateful widget named screen1 and in this I have the scaffolds body returning a padding with, uh, with a function named build UI which is returning a list view and in the list view I have these contents two text fields and two buttons so first we will look into how we can implement the date picker so upon pressing this pick date I will show a function which returns the date picker and so let's get to it Just below this function I will create another function since date picker is is uh, asynchronous so I will use future name display date picker pass on a context I forgot to add async so flutter has a built-in function show date picker yes and show date picker requires these properties initial date first date and last date so I will create the instances above for selected day date time selected so selected day would be date time dot now Okay, for the initial date, from where would you like to, like the date picker to pick the date from? For the initial, I would say pick the date from 2000. And for the future date for the last date I will keep it up to 2025 pass on these initial first last I have named it wrongly selected initial and when I pick any date from the date picker I would like to display it in this text field So when I pick any date from the date picker I would like to show it onto the date picker text field so for that let's create a variable for my date and check for any empty values if this date not equals null then date dot to local dot to string now 
now return this function from this on pressed pass on the context let's test it when I click this button so yes we are getting the date picker and currently it's showing the current date and for the first date I have placed from 2000s so first date is from if you scroll up you will be able to see it's 2000 and for the last date it's 2025 pick, a, pick any random date when I click OK I am getting this date onto my text field but it is not in the appropriate format we are getting the additional zeros which we do not want so there are two methods to fix this one is the date time itself and the other one is the INTL package so guys we will look into both both these methods one by one so as you can see in the set state I am equaling the date controller with date dot to string to, to local dot to string so for this case we need to split in between so after this to string I will pass dot split and split requires for this case we have and we have a white space after the date so it requires a pattern and for the pattern we will pass this space and after we have splitted the text we need to return the index I want this first index only so what this command will do after we got the date there is a white space so it will remove the all the content after the white space and then we have returned the index so for the first index we would only get the date hot reload when I click again pick a random date press OK and as you can see we are getting the text so this is method 1 For the second method, as I mentioned above, for the second method, we have to add a package named Intel. I have already included in, in this project. So how to use this package? Use it like date format dot in the date format you can see there are multiple formats available so these are the methods that we need to use D this returns the date MED month date and year so the common uh, common thing is the common date format is this and once I picked dot format and pass on the date hot reload pick any random date let's say today's date ok and as you can see we are having a perfect format for our date picker Here guys we are done with the date picker it's time to move on to the time picker for the time picker let's first separate the UI date time for the time 
we need to create an instance of time of day time of day time of day dot now I will create another method future display time picker method would be same build context async await show time picker this requires context initial time for the initial time I have already created an instance above pass it time of day apply a condition if this time not equals to null then simply equal it to time of day dot right now just for test first wrap it with set state I forgot to add and pass this function display time picker with context hot reload when I click I'm getting the time picker right now it's 1238 when I press OK we are getting the result as time of day instance and the time we picked but again this is inappropriate so the best approach is to use it in this way from the time of day instance we are getting the time pass on the minute from the time itself sorry I have placed it wrongly time dot hours and time dot minutes hot reload check again this time we are getting the right result additionally guys there are some other approaches which we can use for time pickers and date pickers we can set up modes we can set up the selected day predicate if you want to select a date or if you want to apply some kind of events you can pick date picker entry mode you can apply some custom text if, if you want error format error invalid field hint and so on and for the time picker we have another multiple options but to keep it simple I have placed the required ones so here guys this video comes to its conclusion I hope you like the content and if you did don't forget to like this video share this video with the, within your community and subscribe this channel 